Hello and welcome to Sunset Seekers. We're here on a beautiful East Texas day. I'm here at my mother and father-in-law's place where we keep our, our fifth wheel. My mother and father-in-law are kind enough to allow us to store our RV uh, on their land, which is a great blessing. They are saving us a pretty substantial amount of money every year in storage fees. I don't know exactly what that would be, what that would cost, but somewhere in the neighborhood of about $1,500 to $2,000 a year, and that's quite a blessing. I'm gonna be testing out my new GoPro camera today. I just got a GoPro Hero 7 white. Um, first time I've ever used it, and I'll be, this video will be pretty much exclusively with that camera. But today we're here to talk about a pretty common problem, uh, something that uh, you might run into with your RV. Christy and I noticed at one point that one of our furnace vents was not blowing warm air. And then it seemed like just a, a few days later, we noticed that another vent was not blowing warm air. So we have four vents in our RV that are connected to our furnace and two of them were not blowing warm air, two of them were. So what we discovered was that the vents had become disconnected underneath. And so I had to do a little bit of digging to find out uh, where they came disconnected from, but I'm gonna show you where that was and uh, kind of walk you through that process. Uh, just in case you ever run into this problem yourself. Now I bought over 24 feet of this vent hose here. And uh, you know, I didn't think about it at the time, but uh, you might be able to get this at Lowe's or Home Depot and get it for a better price than what I, I paid for it because for 24 feet of this, I paid around a little over $30. But uh, this is what I'll be replacing today. We had one of our vent hoses that just split right in the middle and just uh, came apart. Okay, so one of our vents that wasn't working was this vent right here that is on the center uh, on the center island in the kitchen. And this particular vent right here just came undone underneath. Whereas with this one here in the bedroom, the vent hose actually split apart. We had one in the bathroom that was working and we had uh, this one here. This one here on the steps that was working, that vent was working okay. And right over here is where our unit is and there was a, a cheap piece of a uh, particle board in here that had uh, come loose and I've decided to put another door just like this one right here on the other side over there as opposed to having this cheap this cheap little board in there makes it easier access if this ever comes apart right here this right here is where the vent hose came loose for the center island Now I've already reattached the vent hose to the center island and for the one here in the bedroom, I'm going to completely replace this vent hose. Now in order for me to replace that vent hose, that requires me crawling into the front cargo area, which is a little bit of a tight spot, but uh, I can fit. So here goes. Okay, as I suspected, crawling up in here was not so much fun. If you can see, this hose right here completely split apart. And so this has to be replaced from the front and I've already detached it from the front and I'll be running it all the way back. Now the hard part is going to be attaching it up there on the top. Okay, so I've rehooked this up in the front that goes to the, to the uh, front bedroom and it actually comes out underneath the sink in the bathroom. So I've hooked that back up and now I'm gonna run the hose back up over here to the furnace. And that is actually over in the kitchen area over there. Right there on the top, that's where it's gonna go. This is where we've been so far. And we are looking forward to filling in a lot more of that map. You know about just your weather strip maintenance, right? You get that spray, that uh, almost like putting whipped cream on there, but it's it's spray. You go down each one of them. That way, it keeps them pliable. They Do you know what it out. is? Do you know what the what the spray is? Oh, that's cool. I had to put a new mount on because my other mount broke. So I put a new mount and then I got a new cover because my other cover had all disintegrated. How much did that mount cost you? It's only 49, I think. I mean, a whole 
whole setup is about 75 bucks. Love the flag. Yeah. Southern RV one on there, like that sticker over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. I finally got that off. America. You got slide out rubber seal. Cool. And uh, that's, you just simply spray it on. That's, yeah. And then you got here, the one for underneath is your dry lube for your drive, where your thing slides in and out to bring okay. us underneath. Right. You use the dry lube for that one. Now, um, mine is all like cables and everything. Are, are you talking about like, uh, is yours like the, the rail system? Are you talking about you, in your slides? Yeah. In, I take now, it, mine's got the rail with the uh, teeth. Right. And mine's yours, like the cables. Yours has got cables, but you probably still need to lube your cables. Cause right. They got to go in right. and out too. There should be, even though there's a cable, there should be a rod that it slides on. Now your cables is just your mechanism to take it in and out, but there should be a rod or something under there to slide on. I've just finished up everything that I was going to do. So now it's about time for me to start uh, closing everything up. And uh, our next trip is going to be to Palo Duro Canyon State Park in Texas, it's in the Panhandle. It's a big state park. Uh, Christy and I are gonna be there for a week. We're really looking forward to it. The last week long trip that we took was to Fall Creek Falls State Park in Tennessee. That was a beautiful state park. And if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. The video that's, that will give you an idea of what the state park looks like is about eight minutes long. And then I have a couple of other videos of stops along the way and, and places in Chattanooga, like we went to Ruby Falls, we went to Rock City. And uh, I have videos for each one of those. So if you haven't seen those, that series of videos from our trip to Tennessee, go ahead and check those out. Now we're going to test it just to make sure that it worked. We're going to turn on our furnace. And wait for it to kick on, which it'll take a little while before it finally kicks on. And that was faster than I thought it was going to be. And now we'll go down here. And I can definitely feel air coming out of there, so that's a good sign. And now let's go on up to the front bedroom and see what progress we've made here. And that's really good. I, I can feel a lot of air blowing through there. So, mission accomplished. Okay, so this is a problem that you can fix yourself instead of taking it down to the dealership. And, and we all know that um, there's no telling when you'll get your rig back from the dealership because most dealerships these days are so inundated and overrun with uh, work orders and different trailers that they're working on at any given time that you're, they're liable to have your, your travel trailer or your fifth wheel for at least a couple of weeks. Whereas this is something that you can do yourself and it's very simple. So if you notice that problem, that uh, your furnace vents are not blowing warm air, then uh, most likely you will have to climb up in the cargo area in the front of the fifth wheel take out the panel board uh, to access those vent hoses. But uh, chances are more than likely that you'll notice one that has either come loose or one that like I, like I had that uh, split in, that kind of split in two. And uh, it's a good idea to reroute them as best you can to kind of uh, make sure that they're not weighted down by any, uh, any of the other water hoses or anything or water lines like I found in my rig. And uh, that will make it, make the vent hose last a little bit longer. But we want to thank you for watching this video and, uh, and if you found this video to be useful uh, please give us a like and uh, leave a comment below and if you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button.